Robert Plank Show, episode 151. Offer, promise, platform, big idea. Create proven funnels that convert with marketing medic Mike Caldwell. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Robert Plank Show where we talk about making money. Our guest today is Mike Caldwell. Now, online marketing is very similar for most people. They think they need all these special computer language codes and integrations in order to make sales online. But by focusing on all the flashy gizmos and gadgets, they lose sight of the basics. A marketing funnel basically needs three things, traffic, a killer offer, and decent copy. And we have Mike Caldwell to talk to us about all those things today. So how are things today, Mike? Things are, are really good. Thanks for asking. Cool. So can you tell us about uh, what is it that you do uh, on the internet, how you got started, and, it, and with this funnel stuff specifically, what makes you stand out? What makes you different and special with funnels? Okay. So I think the first question was how I got started. And I got started because I, I actually met Russell Brunson, the founder of ClickFunnels and Dotcom Secrets. Uh, on a bouncy castle obstacle course in the Caribbean Sea. <laughs> and so we became friends. I found out what he was doing. I, uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I had some home-based businesses that I needed to promote more heavily online. And I ended up enrolling in his uh, one of his mastermind programs. And so I was able to learn directly from uh, Russell Brunson, the master himself. Uh, one of my... Uh, one of the first things we did is I live off grid here at the place we call the Ark, and we were trying to, and Russell built a funnel for me, but it wasn't converting very well. I was responsible for the traffic, and I was getting just insane traffic coming to into uh, into the funnel, but wasn't really converting. And most funnels don't convert right out of the box. They, they require uh, numerous iterations to, you know, to make sure you have the offer right, the messaging right, so that so that it converts. But before we were able to do that. Word kind of got out that I was really ridiculously good at driving traffic from Facebook. And so I was hired by a, a boot camp gym to, to drive traffic for them. And so I was driving traffic. Again, same thing happened. I drove traffic to their, to their website, but it wasn't converting. So they allowed me to rebuild their entire boot camp funnel for them. And in our first month, we spent $300 in Facebook ads and we did $11,000 in, in gross revenue. Awesome. And yeah, and from there, things just sort of... Um, things just sort of snowballed. And what I've always done is I've just always, I'm a paramedic primary. I was a paramedic and firefighter for 12 years. And what I, I was actually Canada's top paramedic for training. I was the, uh, I was the air ambulance manager for the, for the helicopter base in Ottawa, Canada. And so I had more skills than probably anybody else in the country. But what I learned is that it's the airway, it's the ABCs, airway, breathing, and circulation, the basics that save lives. And so I applied that same foundation to all my marketing campaigns. And I find that just by sticking to the basics, you're able, that accounts for like 80% of your traffic and sales. And would you say that, was that the, the big reason why you were able to, to turn around that one client's funnel? Like you said that, um, or you said that didn't Brunson build a funnel for you and it at first didn't convert and you kind of had to go back to the basics, follow the steps and kind of see from the beginning what wasn't working? That's right. Yeah. And so that's where I've sort of come up with, like, I wish it was three, but it's, it's four things. Because <laughs> three would fall my ABCs. But for, uh, like for a landing page of a funnel to work, I think you need four, four things. And the first thing you need is an offer. And what a lot of people don't understand is that they want to provide the offer that they want to give instead of the offer that their audience wants to receive. So if you can do your research and know what the audience wants and creates that for them, then you're going to be in a lot better shape than if you just have some document that you prepared like four years ago that you've never done anything with. It's like, hey, I'll just give this away for free because I've already, I already have it. And that doesn't have the value that's required to get somebody to take that next step into ascending in your funnel. So the first thing you need is, is the offer. And that offer has to come with a promise. What, what is that offer? What, what pain does that offer promise to relieve? And so that's the second thing is a promise, okay? So if, if I give you my email, then you're basically promising me that you're going to re relieve me of some sort of pain. Now, it's great for me to promise that to you, but there needs to be a platform that supports that promise. We can make promises at the yin-yang, but if there isn't the, the platform to support it, then you don't have the credibility necessary. 
So I usually break the prompt, the platform down into to three things. It's usually different for each each uh, niche, but generally it comes down for most people though it comes down to what does the client have to believe in 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 me? What does the client has to believe in in my product? And what does the client have to believe in themselves? So if we're talking about the weight loss niche, for example, then the the client has to see that I'm fit myself because they don't want to learn how to lose weight from some fat guy, right? So, like, I have to show the credibility that, one, I'm, I'm a fit guy myself, and I practice what I preach. Then we need to show that my process works. So, okay, I'm fit, but I might be, you know, some sort of mutant guy that was born with a six-pack. So I have to prove that my platform works, and that's usually done through testimonials. So if I have, like, a dozen people saying that, you know, I joined Mike, I follow his programs, and I lost, like, 12 pounds my first week, then that gives a lot of credibility to my promise. And then the third thing is, what do they have to believe in themselves? So most people have some, again, in the weight loss space, they're like, oh, you know, I'm big boned. It won't work for me. Or, you know, I'm allergic to gluten, so it won't work for me. So you have to address reasons why the people think that whatever you're selling won't work for them. Because whatever product it is, there's always a reason why people will say, oh, it works for other people, but it won't work for me. So right now we're at two, you need an offer, you need a promise, you need a platform. And then the fourth thing that is required is a big idea. That's your headline. And a big idea is more than a headline. It's, it's a, it's, it is a headline, but it's something that incites curiosity and hopefully demonstrates your unique mechanism. So usually my headlines or my big ideas, they're uh, useful. So the client, it has value to the client. Uh, it's unique. Nobody else is offering it. It's ultra specific. And then Sometimes I use this and sometimes I don't. It depends on the market, but there's also, uh, I might also incorporate a sense of urgency. So it's four U's. Useful, unique, ultra-specific, and urgency. So, and are those the, and you said that there were, there are three things or there are four things as far as so there's four process. things in the, uh, there's four things that I, I use whenever I build a funnel landing page, and that is offer, promise, platform, and big idea. And then the big idea has four U's assigned to it. That is uh, useful, unique, ultra specific, and urgent. Okay, so promise was the second one there. Awesome. Yeah. So and and so and I like I like your way of thinking. Like you said, like you used to be an EMT. You're all about the the ABCs, and it's one of those things where I don't know. Like when, when I when I look at people making web pages, or I'm looking at the web page that I'm making, like it's so easy for me to get kind of bogged down or overwhelmed or when I do with a copywriter, like they make it a certain way, right? And the copywriter like slaved and spent all this time, whatever, like finding the perfect sentence or word. And kind of like you said, you mentioned there a little bit with the, the offer and the, and the freebie and things like that, the things that you think are impressive and cool and useful are not necessarily the things that those, those customers are going to find useful and, and things like that. So, I mean, have you, have you come across that where someone just kind of wrote a web page without a process, with kind of like almost like a, a, a starving artist mentality and it's just like set in stone. They refuse to change it. Have you ever dealt with stuff like that? Yeah. And, and for copy, there's two points, there's two components to copy. People make decisions primarily based on emotion, right? Like I want that. How, how many things in the day do we see that we want, but we don't, uh, we don't get everything we want unless there's a rational backing for it, right? Like I might want a 65 Ford Mustang, but I might not be in a financial position right now to purchase a car like that, especially given that I live on a gravel road. So any copy that you write has to address the emotional wants of the person, but then able to support that want with the logical reasoning for why they should move ahead with it. And and so so that's cool. So if you see a landing page that's, that's not converting or could be better instead of just kind of eyeballing it and saying, well, maybe I'll just change some stuff. You can, you can actually see some real concrete reasons why maybe something's not quite landing. And, and, and so have you ever come across um with, you know, people building funnels, landing pages and things like that, where if they're, they're stuck about what kind of decision to make, as opposed to just like going with like some kind of best practices or advice, they say, well, I'm just going to split test it, right? I don't know what my headline should be. I'm just kind of, I'm just going to split test it. And when I've seen, when I've seen people talk about funnels, landing pages, like in this way, um, 
the, the advice to split test it has seemed like kind of a cop out. Have you come across something like that before? Yeah, and that's why everything I do in this, like so many of the things that I do in my marketing goes back to my firefighter paramedic stuff. Everything I did as a firefighter and as a paramedic had a standard operating procedure. When faced with this situation, this is what we do in these steps. And so that's why like my, my funnels have four steps to them, right? The offer, promise, platform, uh, big idea. My headlines have, they're unique, they're useful, they're urgent, they're, they're ultra specific. So I always go back to that stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I will split test two different things. Split testing is awesome because like you say, you know, what re resonates for me won't resonate for everybody, but everything I split test is based on principles that have been proven to work. So you're not just wasting your time on, on goofy stuff. You're actually, well, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is that based on everything that you've, you've been saying so far about these different, you know, copywriting principles and your checklist and things, I mean, you have a pretty good idea at what is going to sell, right? You can, you can make a pretty decent stab at it. It might need some tweaking later, but you have a pretty good idea of, you know, I'll have the headline be this font and this size and kind of use sort of that template. I mean, I, I guess what I'm asking is, do you, do you have some sort of a template that you, you use? I mean, I know that you mentioned these different principles, but do you have like a starting point for the funnels you create? Oh, definitely. Like I say, it's, it's, it's those four things. I usually use uh, Oswald font for my, for my bold headlines and I use railway for my copy within. So, and that's, that's based on knowledge that I've got from past funnel builders, from past website builders, from past copywriters. They're like, this is what's worked before. So when you find a, a system that's working, I, I tend to stay with it. A lot of the, everything I've talked about today, I didn't invent any of this stuff because had I invented it, then, you know, I haven't been in the business that long to have proven it all out. Everything I'm talking about is stuff that I've got from people like uh, Russell Brunson, from Todd Brown, from Todd Brown's team, um, from Dan Kennedy, like Rick Sheffield's, all these guys. So it's just a combination of, of what worked for them. So we're talking like, dozens of years of experience culminating in a system that ultimately works i mean yeah why reinvent the wheel right just go with what others have done before you and kind of build on that yeah like a, a big mistake that a lot of people make is again just going back to the emotion and quite often we think if we just pack like all these features in like the more features we get the more we overwhelm somebody that they're going to want to buy but I don't care about the features. I care about the end result. If it only has one feature, like one feature that's going to allow me to lose 12 pounds in a week, well, that's awesome. If you list me like 50 different features, but I don't know that I'm going to lose any weight after I go through all these features, then who cares? Right. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of beating on, on your own chest, but nothing about what's in it for me. So have you noticed that lately, uh, and like in the past, maybe like five years or so that a lot of these web pages have had less text and less information on them. Yeah. And so again, I've, I've done a lot of work with Russell Brunson and I'm in, I'm in his camp. And what I see happening a lot is people are cloning uh, the gurus like Russell. Okay. And what they don't understand is that somebody like Russell, when you come to a, a landing page of his that has minimal text or minimal copy, that is not your first exposure to Russell. Like you've been following Russell for like weeks, months, years. And so by the, and you begin all the emails from him, you know what he offers, you know what his past, his track record's been. So when you get to one of his landing page that has minimal cop, copy on it, that's because he knows that you've been, you've already spent like dozens of hours in front of him. And what too many funnel and website builders are doing now is they're just like cloning one of Russell's minimized uh, landing pages and nobody's like, you know, Ted Schmidt like launches a funnel and it has no, you know, no, uh, no, um, sorry, no copy on it. Cause he's like, Oh, that's what Russell did. Well, yeah, but we all know who Russell is. We know what he provides. I've never heard of Ted Schmidt before. So you've got to, you've got to resort, go back to that platform for the three biggest objections people are going to have for not wanting to buy from you. Russell's already dealt with those objections in like the weeks he's been corresponding with you. So that's why I like to have that platform for, and I said, it's uh, what do they have to believe in you, your product and themselves? I say, those are the three biggest things, but I always go back to, if I walked up to you on the street and I made you an offer, I don't care what offer it is. You're going to reject it. Right. Just right at the beginning. You're going to say no. 
<laughs> yeah. So I want to know the top three reasons you're going to say no to what I'm offering you. And then I'm going to address that on that landing page. So I remove the objections before you can even bring them up. Cool. And that's, that's a cool way of going about it in that, in that you can, you can basically get caught up, I guess, to where, where a, a, a Russell level guru already has someone you can get caught up, but you're also not writing 50 pages on a web page, also. Right. Cause you don't want to overwhelm the person. Like I say, you just, I want to know what you, I want to do my research and I want to know what your objections are going to be. Usually the objections are um, that usually your, <laughs> it looks like somebody else is on the, on the call right here, but um, usually the objections, sorry, I lost my track. Where was I? Usually the objections are, are money-based, right? Oh, I can't afford it. And so what I like to do is before they say they can't afford it, I like to show them what the benefits are if they don't buy it, right? Yeah, like the takeaway selling. That's right. That's right. So, I mean, we've been mentioning for the, the past few minutes about uh, different mistakes that you've uh, seen on the landing pages that, you know, that you come across or laying or mistakes on landing pages. Oh, there's a shirtless guy on our podcast. The, <laughs> the, uh, the mistakes that you've seen other funnel builders make. Is there like a, one big, huge one? And it's actually, it's the one that we just mentioned. Um, like, well, it's two, it's two things. Somebody will say like, uh, give me your email and I'll give you my three secrets to financial freedom. All right. So there's so many, and they just think that that's going to do it for them. Right. And there's so many problems with that. The first is you're going to give me your secrets to financial freedom. I have no idea how financially free you are. Right. Um, I have no idea how your system could apply to me. Do I have to make more money? Do I have to save more money? Do I have to start buying stocks? Do I, are you, are you wanting me to like start flipping houses? I don't know what your product is. And then there's nothing unique about your offer. If I wanted to fi have financial freedom, what if I typed how to have financial freedom on, into Google? How many, how many answers am I going to get to that on Google? Like tens of thousands. So what separates you from anybody else? So that person would like need a unique mechanism so that I can't Google it. And that's the, uh, that's the biggest thing. Some, uh, most things, most uh, funnels I see, the only copy is above the fold. There's minimal stuff in there. There's no platform for why I should believe in you, your product or how it could apply to me. So it sounds like, so I guess, yeah. So at, out of those two things, it's just have a better freebie to give away in general. And then, kind of make that freebie as sexy as it can be yeah um because a freebie has to be like we're coveting our emails more and more every day right because our we're just getting bogged down with all the all the spam that we're getting on, in our inboxes and so again if, if you're going to be three secrets to financial freedom those there you have to intrigue me in some way that i that i don't that i believe that what you have works and that what you're offering, I can't just Google and get for free with, or by, by free, I mean, without giving my email on Google. And so, yeah, the offer, the offer has to be really good. And again, I, I like to go back to Russell all the time. And one of the, one of the things that actually got me to sign up with Russell is when I got his free plus shipping book offer. So I, I signed, I sent away for his 108 split tests for whatever, like $7 and 95 cents in shipping. And then he sends me like this 200 page, a uh, high gloss, every page book and every page had just like killer content, killer value on it. And had I seen this book at a bookstore, I easily, I wouldn't have any problems like paying 50 bucks for a book like that. And Russell gave it to me for the cost of shipping. And so what that leads me to believe is that if he's, if he's going to give me that much value for free, how much value is he going to give me when I pay more? And what most people do is they come up with like some like word document that is basically worthless that they, they spend like five minutes uh, researching and they're trying to give that away in exchange for my email address. And so even if they do like trick me and get me to give me their, get me to give them their email address. Once I get this one page word document with generic information, what are the odds of me ever buying anything from them down the road? Almost nothing. Yeah. So you've got to like, people got to give some thought to that offer and how, like you say, how can they make it intriguing and sexy? And then once they get it, how can you make them say, wow, like that's what, when I got that book from Russell, I wasn't expecting. That. I was like, wow, 
Like, I can't believe I just got this book for the cost of shipping. And that's, that's how the pro that's how a funnel has to work. Cause that free offer, that's your first impression. And if you blow that first impression, you're done. So just get, give them a huge wow when they get that thing for free. Exactly. And exactly. So, so, um, so speaking of click funnels, I mean, I've known, I've known Russell for years and years and, um, but I haven't been paying as close attention to him in the in the past few years. So I know about ClickFunnels. I've I've seen a bunch of funnel pages. I've seen it demoed. But I mean, in, in your word, but I I don't have an account. So in your words, like, what is ClickFunnels exactly, and how is it different from all the other page builders out there? Yeah, well, yeah, ClickFunnels is that it's a it's a page building uh, online software where it's they've just made it. They're all pretty much drag and drop now, but ClickFunnels has just made it very intuitive for how to build a page. And then what they've done is they've, with the ClickFunnels account, you get all the integrations that you would have to usually use like third-party providers for. So all my, I got rid of my Aweber account, like my autoresponder, because now everything goes through ClickFunnels, uh, they call them action funnels. And the action funnels are better than what I had with Aweber before. Everything's just segmented a lot better. I can move people around on my list. So if you come to my page and give me your email, then you'll get one sequence of email uh, blast from me. But if you buy like one thing, then you'll get a different sequence. If you also go for my one-time offer, then you'll get a different sequence. It's just really easy to set that up within ClickFunnels. And then at the same time, they have all the e-commerce also integrated. So I don't need third-party providers for that. I can have my forms right on the page. You don't have to go like to a, pay, a separate PayPal page to buy it or whatever. And then they've made it super easy. And this is where the true value comes in. If you decide to, you know, buy my tripwire for $7.95, I can include like it's called an order bump for like $4 more. I'll give you the checklist that supports the document. And all you'd have to do is like click this one little button and that's added to your, to your order. It's very painless for you, so you'll probably do it. And then once you go to that page, ClickFunnels also makes it super easy to have like a one-time offer. So you bought my uh, document for $7.95. You went for the order bump for $4. Now I'm going to give you a one-time uh, one time offer on the next page. But again, you just have to click the button, and it's added on to your cart. Again, completely painless for you, and it just makes the sales process so easy, and it kind of defines what a funnel is. And it sounds awesome the, the way that you describe that because, I mean, if you can cancel your Aweber account, if you don't have to connect, uh, you know, like a PayPal button to a web page, if it's all handled all in one place and it's all drag and drop, that's – that. I mean, that, that seems like that clears out a lot of that extra time that people would have been otherwise spending on all the technical stuff. Yeah, and then what's really cool is, as like you say, you've been following Russell for a while, so Russell gives – so much value away. again his one his uh upfront offers are so awesome like you can get most of his books for free plus shipping so you can get the dot com secrets that's his playbook for for making funnels and if you follow his playbook and incorporate that with click funnels then your business is off to the races and the other thing that i love about click funnels so much that you don't get like wordpress sites are awesome they're free but if you're having problems building something in a wordpress site what do you do like you're kind of screwed aren't you yeah <laughs> you're on no your support. own you're on your own you got to figure that out there's forums you can go to and get a half a different uh bunch of answers from people who don't know anything more than you do but with click funnels there's uh online chats there's online support right there so you'll usually get an answer like within 24 hours at the latest and it's usually a lot quicker than that awesome so i mean not only do they do everything but also they they support it pretty well. And so speaking of supporting this thing called ClickFunnels, is that right that you, what you do is you set up funnels for other people? Yeah. So um, yes, 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 and no. I'm more of a I built I definitely build funnels for people, but my strength is more in the whole strategy behind the funnel. So I so yeah, I can build a funnel, but my strengths are more in building the business. As in, in the funnel is like one component of it. Okay, so I mean, could you walk us in the in this last couple of minutes here? Can you walk us through like a, a quick case study of maybe a client you had and they said we need X, Y, Z, and then you kind of saved the day for them? Yeah, so that happened last week. Um, so a, a potential client called me. I found out later that I was his fourth. Uh, so I'm I'm a certified ClickFunnels uh, consultant. 
So we have a page where people can go and, you know, and contact us. So I was the fourth person that he contacted on the page and he was trying to sell out some supplements. And so supplements are great, but what people have to understand about supplements is they have, they have generally uh, small margins. So it's more of a, when you take into consideration all the advertising and everything you've done. So Russell has a template where he was making $17,000 a day on the supplement funnel and he advertise, he promotes that. But, when you when you have the opportunity to go to some of his inner circle meetings and that he'll tell you that that funnel was making seventeen thousand dollars a day, but it was on a fifteen thousand dollar a day ad spend. So that prof that funnel was like between ten and fifteen percent profitable, which is good. But if you want to make a living from it, then you have to have the financial resources to back it with your advertising, right? Right. So once I explained, I said I'd happily build the funnel for you. But another problem with uh, supplements is Facebook isn't really that supplement friendly. So it's really, you can do it, but it's tricky to, you have to really play within the rules of Facebook to promote supplements on Facebook. So I just sort of rec- I explained that to him as well. And then what we learned through talking is that he's a, he's a pastor with this huge following and he wants to do more on the lines of life coaching. And the, what he actually has in his arsenal is this amazing high ticket offer. And so in, well, but the call lasted close to an hour, but at the end of the call, he'd hired me. He told me that I was the fourth person that he talked to. Everybody else has talked about the structure of the funnel and how they're going to put like a green button here and a video there. And what I did is I helped him walk through his business model where he could actually monetize and make money at the back end. And so now we're building out um, a high ticket webinar funnel for him where he can tell, sell his coaching services complete with a val- value ladder of upsells and downsells. Awesome. So the reason why he chose you over someone else and, and I guess what differentiated you from those other four people was that they were just focused on the tactics. They were just focused on the little minutia details. And you said, well, here's the big picture. That's it. Yeah. Like he, he called me and said, can you build me a funnel? And I said, yes. But just so you know, I'm really good at building funnels and strategy and all that, but it doesn't matter how good I am. Russell Brunson was 15% uh, profitable. So that would be my goal to be that good. And I'm not as good as Russell Brunson. So we're probably looking at, you know, eight to 10% of profit. And aside from Russell, I'm one of the best there is. So just so you know, awesome. so I was almost like saying I wouldn't hire me. And cause I didn't, I didn't, I don't want your business. I want to build your business. And if I don't think I can build your business to the degree that you want it, then I don't want to, I don't want to work for you. And I don't think you should want me to work for you either. So, so anyway, that's just how I approached it. And then, like I said, at the end of the day, he ended up hiring me to build him his uh, high ticket webinar funnel. Awesome. And I mean, I mean, that is a good goal to shoot for. And I think that 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 is, that's a good attitude that you're not just, you know, clocking in and getting paid, you know, X number of dollars for the hours. You're actually making something that's complete and is going to help someone else's business. So if someone wants to find out about you, Mike, and they want to uh, hire you or even just see what you've been doing and talking about lately, where can they go to find out all that information? So they want to get want to go to marketingmedic.ca. And on that page, you'll see my, uh, my uh, lead magnet there. I use I've given I'm giving away my eight page checklist. So the exact same checklist that I use when I build a funnel to make sure I all my standard operating procedures to make sure I haven't missed anything. That's what I'm giving away. And it is legitimately like the same checklist that I use. So there's an example of somebody who wants to build a funnel. If that's your goal, you're wanting to build a funnel, you find marketingmedic.ca, you come to my website and you're like, wow, Mike's giving me the same checklist that he uses to build funnels. The same checklist that he used to turn $300 in Facebook ads to $11,000 in profit, that's what I'm giving away as my lead magnet. So you can guess that uh, my uh, click-through rate is pretty high on that. Well, yeah, because, I mean, imagine that you actually practice what you preach. Instead of saying, here are the top three conversion ideas, you're saying, no, here's, like, oh, start to finish. This is what I actually use. Now you can use it as well. So great stuff, marketingmedic.ca. And thanks so much for being on the show today, Mike. Thanks for having me, Robert. Anytime. Hey there, it's Robert Plank. Do you have a second? Can you go to robertplank.com slash iTunes and click that subscribe button? That way you never miss another episode. Thank you so very much.